Jammed. Need to get on the other side. This must be the way to Fulke's Sanctum. Then let us go. This is the place. It's riddled with the stench of her. Help me, Basim. Sigurd is within. What does it mean, these word tangles that speak of elves and demons? Details on the Order of the Ancients. Fulke ranks high among them, but is not the head. The plans to the Great Fortress in Wessex. Is there something here we can use to breach it? Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time.
Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally, it's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he is alive. But not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Randvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Randvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Randri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods.
Stop there, Wolfkist. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment, because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me, and I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dak, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home! Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! You spew nonsense, Dag. This is absurd. Enough! Let the circle be made! you exile. Leave this place, but go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded you gave him, that should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this, and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, You'll find it in the next. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me. Betrayal! 
He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unvanished. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. Dag, you lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well. How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys? According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution.
Show me. It seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. The barrel dry? Damn beer stand. His household is as Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Beerstan, the elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Damn beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. Virtue, Adrian. Even the sense of 